Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, we're going to talk about depreciation. What is it and why does it matter? Now, depreciation is a concept that applies to both GAAP, generally accepted accounting principles, as well as the tax code. Now, for GAAP purposes, you might need to follow those principles because you are a small business that's trying to get financing from a bank and you need to have audited or reviewed financial statements that are reported according to GAAP or publicly traded companies have to report their financial statements according to GAAP as well. But for the majority of the people watching this video, you probably don't need audited or reviewed financial statements. You most likely aren't in a public company, but you're thinking about depreciation when it comes to tax time and you're doing the tax return for your small business. So the terms that I use, the things that I talk about are gonna focus more on that tax side, but the concept of depreciation is the exact same whether we're talking about GAAP or we're talking about tax. Okay, so let's jump right in. The basic concept of depreciation is taking an expense and spreading it out over time instead of expensing it all in the year that you spent the actual money. So first, let's start with a normal business expense. Normal business expense, you spend of $1,000. Let's say that that's uh, supplies for your office and they're consumables, you're gonna generally use those up within the current year. So you get to subtract your, or you subtract your cash by a thousand because you spent the money. That thousand dollars needs to balance as an individual transaction. So you're going to put a thousand dollars of additional expense on your income statement. So the thousand dollars here and the thousand dollars here offset each other. That's a balanced transaction. Our income statement is now six thousand minus. 2,000 equals 4,000, all right? And our cash is 25,000 minus 1,000 is 24,000. That is the entry. Now for depreciation, we don't get to do that. The tax code says you have to actually capitalize the asset and expense it over time instead of writing it all off in one single year. So let's say you buy a computer for $3,000. We're going to subtract that from our bank account balance because we spent the money. But instead of putting $3,000 of an expense on our income statement, we're going to put it here as an asset. So here's our transaction, 3000 and 3000 is equal. That reduces cash to 21. It increases our equipment to 3000. 21 plus 3 is 24. Our balance sheet is still in balance. Then what the IRS, the tax code, not the IRS, but the tax code says you can expense this over time. So for a computer, the useful life is three years. Now, I can't get into all the specifics of how depreciation is calculated. So for the concept here, we're just going to use straight line depreciation, which means expensing this evenly over the useful life. Useful life is three years. That's a thousand dollars per year. So what we do is we record in another transaction, a thousand dollars of accumulated depreciation and we write off a thousand dollars of expense of depreciation expense. So now we have six thousand of income minus three thousand of expenses equals three thousand of net income. Over here we have three thousand of assets still, a thousand of accumulated depreciation, which just reduces that asset from three down to two. We still have the same cash. Everything else is still the same here. 21 plus three minus one. So that's 21, 24 minus one is 23. Our equity is now 23 as well because we still have the 20 of capital. We now have 3,000 flowing through from our income statement, so 23,000. Everything's still in balance. And all we did, right, was instead of taking our $1,000, like we did with our expense, we took $1,000, put it on the income statement of $1,000, it reduced our net income by $1,000. For the computer, we capitalized it, the $3,000 went on the balance sheet, and then over three years, we're gonna take $1,000 this year, $1,000 next year, and $1,000 the third year, and we only get to put that amount on the actual income statement. So why does this matter? Well, for taxable purposes, when you're talking about your taxable income, if we had gotten to expense the full 3,000 right now today, instead of our net income being 3,000, we would have had an additional 2,000 of expenses here, making that three, and our net income would only be 1,000. 
So obviously you're going to pay more taxes on $3,000 of net income than you would a thousand. And so the IRS, or sorry, again, it's not the IRS who writes the tax code, it's Congress, but the tax code says, Hey, look, you can't pay less taxes because you bought this asset. That's going to last you three years. You have to spread that out over time. It wouldn't be fair to let you deduct that all in one year and pay such little taxes this year when you're going to get a benefit over multiple years. So that's the basic concept. Again, taking an expense, spreading it out over multiple years. Now there's other things in the tax code, bonus depreciation and section 179 depreciation, which are just two different ways where if you qualify under one or both, you get to choose which one you want to use. But under either situation, the tax code says, Hey, if you meet the qualifications, you can actually, write the full three thousand dollars off this year so in a lot of situations actually we're able to capitalize the three thousand take three thousand dollars of depreciation expense in the first year instead of spreading it out over three years and put the three thousand on your income statement reducing your taxable income instead of it being three we can reduce it down to one save you some taxes so that's the basic concept. That's a little bit about the tax law too, as well, how they do let you end up writing it off all in one year. And the reason why you might want to do that again, save taxes now, uh, because a dollar saved today is better than a dollar saved tomorrow. That gets into the time value of money, which is a completely different topic for another video. My name is Brad. I'm with Wooten CPA. My goal is to bring peace to your tax and finance responsibilities. Please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the like button on this video and then also the bell so that you're notified when new videos come out. Thanks for watching.